We go from like, oh, you're so cute to like, ooh, you know what I mean? Like when you get too excited and you want to pet the cat so you grit your teeth a little. Um, just me, I don't know. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today. A couple of things I need to tell you. Number one, do you see the sun outside? It's not really something I need to tell you, but it's something I feel in my soul. It is so beautiful outside right now. Like, there's sun coming through the window, and it's just like, can you can, like, see it on me. I'm just, I am, <laughs> I'm so excited to see the sun. It snowed, like, two days ago here in northern Michigan, and I needed this so badly. Not, not like I needed it, but, like, my soul needed it. Also, my skin definitely needs it because I'm starting to glow, but I I just I'm so excited to see the sun right now I really felt like that that's gonna be my strong open the number two let's talk about this hair really quickly I've been trying to heat it less lately and so obviously that entails a little bit more air drying which normally I do on days that I'm not on camera just so that way I come on here my hair's already done you know whatever and for today I was just like y'all they don't care okay like they don't care about the tractors outside they don't care about the random little patches of sun they don't care that your hair's not dried they don't care about the little stupid stuff so I'm I'm gonna try to do better at like also not caring right along with you and just b being me like being my authentic self but that being said guys this is me this is just who I am this air dried page where one minute you don't know if the hair is gonna be frizzy fuzzy and unruly or if it's going to be so painfully flat that it is actually plastered to your head like you, you just you don't know which one you're gonna get I don't know it happens you know guys I think we're all just here to live this ridiculousness together so let's go ahead and move on you know past the Sun and my hair whatever else is going on and let's talk about today's video because for today I'm I'm actually doing a video I have never done before and uh, that's because I placed an order with a little place you may have heard of it called Bergdorf Goodman now Bergdorf Goodman I would say is like a high-end um, type retail spot where you can go they have high-end retail designers you know for clothing or accessories makeup that sort of thing and so a lot of the products that they have are stuff you can find at places like Sephora or Ulta in some cases but they're also products that are even higher end than that like Chantecai that sort of thing so I guess if I had to compare it to something kind Kind of like how Ulta and the drugstore have like a little bit of an overlap as far as products and pricing. I would say the same thing is true of Bergdorf Goodman and like Sephora or Ulta. They have that little bit of overlap where it's like, okay, you know, these are items you can get over here, but then we also have this whole nother, you know, high-end luxury area that they don't carry in those stores. Hey guys, I just realized I have to like <laughs> move over here because there's a light directly hitting my face and I don't care because it's sun and I'm not going to close that window. I don't care what it takes. That window is staying open. I'll sit like this if I have to. I don't care. Uh, but anyways, moral of my story, that's part of the reason that I was so excited to test out this entire uh, sale that they had going on. I think it was like 25 to 40 percent off. We're gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna zoom the camera in. Again, it's not a full face or anything like that, obviously, because that would cost millions and ain't nobody got time for that business. So I'm just gonna go ahead, zoom the camera in. I thought this would be a fun, like, little haul what I got, but also test it out, see if these products are worth it, and uh, we'll just go from there. So hang tight, and uh, I'll get the camera zoomed in. Also, just curious, um, am I the only person that if I wear a headband of any kind, like this one, those cute little thin ones that girls could wear in gym, it doesn't matter. Um, they literally shoot off the back of my head like a rocket. Like I don't, I think my head is the shape of an actual damn cone because if I go like this, it'll just like ping off the top of my head and I can't control it. Like it just, it literally shoots off of my head. I've had it happen before. I was like testing out one of those like, oh yeah, Mondo grip. Oh yeah, you could do anything. You can go tilt a whirl on this. Tilt a whirl, listen to me, I'm Northern Michigan. Tilt a whirl. But you could like climb a mountain. You can do extreme sports, whatever you wanna do. And this will not come off your head. And it was like super grippy and intense, right? I put that thing on my egg ass head and just ping off it went and I was like, and where the hell is that grip now? I've tried bobby pins. I've tried everything. They do not stay on my head. Just want to know if I'm the only one. That's all. So to get started really quickly, I didn't grab a primer from Bergdorf's, so I'm just going in with a little bit of my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, this little guy right here. For foundation, I picked up two different options. I have this one from La Mer. This is their Luminous Lifting Cushion Foundation, and I have the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Foundation. Now, this one right here is like a super duper full coverage, amazing foundation that I used to be obsessed with, like two-ish years years ago and I picked this up because it was on sale and I want to test it again. I've been wanting to test it again for quite some time um, but I'm not going to be testing it in today's video. I'm going to be testing out the La Mer but I just wanted to let you know that I did pick this up so you will probably see it in a video um, at some point. Either I'll talk about it, I'll use it. I'm not really sure. You guys can let me know down below if you'd even like to see it. I just went ahead and took the plastic off. Let's talk about the foundation we will be using and that is this guy from La Mer. This is again their Luminous Lifting Cushion Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 20 and I have this in the 
shade Warm Porcelain 03. All right, so here is the compact. Oh my gosh, like hello, beautiful luxury. It's not as heavy as you would think, but it looks really beautiful. I just wish it had a little bit more heft to it, a little bit more like, girl, I think I'm $120 retail. Like I'd like a little bit more heft. And it looks like it comes with an extra cushion as well. So you actually get to like the regular and the refill in here, which is really nice. That I, I really do appreciate. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So you open up the compact. Here is a little sponge, which y'all, La Mer, you can do better than this. I'm sorry. No. For today, I'm gonna be just using my clean dose of color sponge right here. Um, if you like using those to apply, obviously you can. They're just not my favorite. So open up the little dish right here and we're gonna peel off this protection. And okay, you know what? That shade's not that bad, all right. Um, let's go ahead and I think I'm just gonna dive right in now that my primers had time to settle into my skin and I'm gonna grab my clean dose of color sponge and I'm just gonna dunk it right in to the foundation. Boom, pick up some product and I'm just gonna start applying y'all cause ain't nobody got time. Ooh, <sighs> wait a second, is that scented? This is scented but like, like floral scented, like roses type situation. But do you think that's gonna stop me from putting it on? Absolutely not, honey. I'm gonna get that application on like it's my job. I mean, it is kind of my job. I need to hurry up. <laughs> I've, been, I've been sitting here talking to the camera, staring at packaging for the last hour. I need to actually apply this makeup to my face. Wow. That looks really good. I would say as far as coverage goes, this is actually really nice for a cushion foundation. Um, obviously you can still see like all of my redness right here poking through. So it's not like full, full, full coverage, but I also recognize that my redness is like on the very, very rich and uh, pigmented side. So I don't want to weigh too heavy against it, but I would say this is a really nice like medium coverage. It's pretty solid. I'd say as far as texture goes, this looks okay. It's not my favorite over like the redness and that sort of thing, like any raised acne texture. Um, or on my nose like on the side right here it looks a little bit funky for the type of luminosity that this foundation is giving me I'm really not that surprised because this type of foundation again that has like that luminous aspect built into it a lot of times it can look a little bit funky on like the the raised areas or pores texture that sort of thing um, and a lot of times when I go in with my concealer and my powder it just kind of presses it in and it usually helps to fix it so that's what we're gonna go ahead and get into next which I actually have a concealer for that's this little guy here from Bobbi Brown this is their Intensive Skin Serum Concealer. I have it in the shade Golden 12. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Golden 12? Y'all gonna play me like that? Golden 12, how the hell? No, uh-uh, honey. No, I did not buy go Golden 12. Golden 12, really? really Bueller. All right, so my receipt that I have in front of me doesn't say which shade I ordered, but I can pretty much guarantee you that I did not order <laughs> this shade. So I'm gonna just put this back in the little box and uh, not use it because no, and we are going to wipe this off and just go in with a different concealer, yay. Also, can you see what I'm talking about? Look at this, this headband that just fell off my head because I have a cone-shaped face apparently. Actually, hold on, Paige has an idea. If you can't beat them, honey, you join them. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> Just tie it back till I'm done. Till my face is powdered, it can stay back there. I don't care about it. So for concealer, um, obviously, because that other one doesn't work, I'm just going to grab um, my Hourglass Vanish Concealer and apply a little bit of this to my normal places here and just blend it out. All right, now from there, we're officially gonna start moving into the Chantikai territory. I think I have maybe four products I picked up from them. And one of them is the Talc Free Loose Powder. And it says that uh, it's just a smooth, translucent finishing powder that you can put over bare skin or any foundation formula. Okay, wow packaging, look at this. Okay, oh my God, I'm feeling bougie already. And it says this is in the shade Subtle. All right, so here is the lid. It's it's actually like a nice metal um, cap to it. And then it comes with this poof, which is actually a pretty nice poof. Dang, that feels really good. Okay, we're gonna save that because I do love a good poof. And oh no. Guys, this is the color of the powder. Do you see how dark that is? Like really, really? <sighs> All right, so I've just been sitting here playing around with like the texture, the color of this, and I am going to try putting this like a little bit under my eyes, but I really don't think this is gonna be a good situation. Just under my eyes because of the color, I think it's gonna really darken things up here. Oh yeah, 
definitely darkened it up like you can see how bright this side is versus this side on the upside even though it did um, make the under eye darker at least it didn't um, make it darker than like the rest of my skin tone which does happen a fair amount with powders in me so I can tell you just based off of the consistency and applying this around my nose that this particular powder for me would be more of a finishing powder or a buffing powder because um, right in here like on my porous areas and under my eyes it's already doing that thing for me where it like settles into my pores and they look like little polka dots as opposed to like setting and really blurring everything out now, even though I didn't love it necessarily over like my super porous areas like the nose and, and up in this region right here I still wanted to test it on the rest of my face um, just to see you know how it looks over more texture and like this sort of thing right here and it actually doesn't look that bad um, over those areas so I think for me it kind of reassures that I would use this more as like a buffing um, powder more as like a blending type powder more than I would um necessarily as a setting or like a baking powder. All right, now moving on to bronzer and blush. Both of them are from Shantikai, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the bronzer here. This is their HD Perfecting Powder Bronzer, is all it says, and the color actually looks really beautiful. Like, it seems, it seems like it could be a little bit on the cooler side or maybe like a more of a neutral tone. It's not super warm, it's not super cool. I'm just gonna go ahead here and apply a light little amount of this just to the cheekle region. Okay, so first off, first and most important, okay, I had to take my hair out of that bun thing because it was driving me crazy, number one. Like, just looking in the camera, just couldn't stand it anymore. Uh, but number two, this bronzer. So let's go ahead and have like a little conversation because I just sat here and I was kind of playing around with it, you know, and I, and I was talking to the camera, which I'm probably gonna cut that footage out because now that I've got it on and applied, I have like, my thoughts have just kind of changed over the last 10 minutes. So first things first, I think the one thing that I do really like about this is the texture. It's a very, very like silky smooth um, consistency, which I really appreciate. Like I have no issues with it um, texturally. I think it's really nice. It buffs in beautifully. My main issue with this, I think is pigmentation because it's so light. Um, if you're my shade and you have to build it up this far, is it even going to show up on somebody that's even slightly darker than me? I don't know. If you guys have any information, by the way, on the brand that you would like to share with me, thoughts, opinions, what have you, please feel free to do that down below. Is it something where maybe I should try like a full face of shade? I mean, what do you guys think? Wow, I just thought about that sentence in its entirety. That would be so expensive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it would be so much. I'd have to save up for like two years to do it, but you guys can let me know down below. Um, is that something that I should do? Like, should I explore the brand more? What do you think? I Wow, wow. The more that I love this and like look in the monitor, that looks, like, that cheek looks gorgeous. All right, so guys, we need to just take a pause and appreciate this packaging. So this is the Shantikai blush that I picked out. It's in the shade Emotion, and this blush is so freaking cute. Um, if, if memory serves, I know they did, like, a special collection. I don't know if it was just bees, if it was all animals. I'm not sure. But I picked this one up because not only is the color pretty, we'll get there in a second, but, like, look at this packaging. I just think it is so freaking cute. Guys, I'm having, like, a Fenty flashback. Do you remember when I opened those cream blushes, like, last week? And I was like, wow, these are really tight. Tiny, what's happening? I'm having like the same moment <laughs> with this blush because it seems so small. Okay, so just to compare, this is about the same size as the Fenty Cream Blush. Like maybe even a touch smaller because it doesn't have the little points on it that the Fenty one has. Do you see how small this is? This is so small. Okay, maybe it's just me, guys. Have blushes always been this small and I've just never noticed? I don't know. Oh my God, you guys, the pan. Oh my God, I don't even want to use this blush. It's so cute. Oh my God, you guys, you guys, you guys. Hold on, I have to zoom in. Like, I'm sorry, but do you see how cute this bee is in this pan right now? Oh my God, I'm living. The detail, the cuteness, guys, I can't. Okay, so I'm really glad that I showed you that when I did because um, literally one dunk in from my brush and all the pretty, like, shiny bumblebee cuteness is gone. <laughs> so I'm glad you saw it when you did. Hope you thought it was cute. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to apply this blush to my face. <laughs> kind of, I'm kind of bummed about this. I really love that little bumblebee. Oh, oh, that's cute. All right, guys. So we need to talk about something real here for a second because I love blush. All right. Like I'm a blush fiend. You guys know this about me, but my color will forever be, which by the way, can you tell how much of this I put on? Wow. Um, my type, my favorite type of color of blush, I think no matter what I buy, which I bought shimmery, I bought matte. I buy really high, like crazy colors. I buy neutral colors. And I think my favorite tone will forever be like that beautiful, subtle, soft kind of pink that looks like you pinched your cheek and then you can build it up to be more of like an aggressive grandma pinch. Like we go from like, oh, you're so cute to like, ooh, you know what I mean? Like when you get too excited and you want to pet the cat so you grit your teeth a little. Um, just me, I don't know. But <laughs> this this is like my tone of blush, all of that to be said. And I just like, I'm crazy about this color. I don't know if that's gonna, if it's coming across on camera at all, how cute this is. 
but it looks so beautiful. And it does have just like the tiniest, like the most subtle amount of luminosity to it, which I am a big fan of. I like that it looks more um, almost satin, like it gives it that satin radiance, so it's not a total matte blush, but it's not over the top shimmery. Like it just sits right above matte and it's just, it's perfection. Okay, so one area I might have messed up just a little bit. This is from YSL and this is their Touch Eclat Shimmer Stick and I have it in the shade number two, Light Rose. And I've always wanted to play with this formula. I thought it was just super duper pretty. Now here's a swatch of it. I just went ahead and blended it out. I feel like on camera, you can like barely see that. There you go. You can see it a little bit better now. For my skin tone, this is a little bit too deep and a little bit too pink for me, but I really wanted to test out the formula because I've heard some really good things about it. The consistency of this is really, really soft by the way, but I'm just gonna take some of it baby on this cheek here. I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit just with my finger. Um, oh, Ooh, okay, didn't expect that. Oh, wow, okay, 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 okay. And obviously I'm just applying it with my fingers because I'm afraid like a sponge or anything else will lift my foundation underneath. Now in real life, again, it is a little bit too deep for my skin tone, um, but I do have another something that I'm gonna put over top of it and hopefully that'll lighten it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there with the cream highlight because for another product, we have to get a little creative, but I'm hopeful. I'm really, I'm really hoping that this one works out. This is from Chantecaille and <laughs> big surprise, I know something else from them. This is their luminescent eye shade in the shade Cheetah, which says it's a warm champagne. And it's this little guy right here. It's just technically like a single shadow. And I actually remember back when they launched this campaign, it was maybe like a year and a half, two-ish years ago, something like that. And if memory serves, it was like multi-animal themed where they had this one and then there was like an elephant and a bunch of other options. But anyways, moral of the story, I saw this on Trend Mood all that time ago. And when I saw this on the Bergdorf website, I got super excited. So this one I did open when it got here because I was just so pumped to see this packaging. Guys, look at how cute this is. So this right here is obviously the little front tile. It has the adorable little cheetah on it. And then when you open it up, look at the freaking texture in that pan. Look at how well they emboss that. I say all of this right now because I thought not only would this be a beautiful eyeshadow, but maybe it would make like a really pretty like little pop of a highlight. So we're just gonna take some of this here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's go ahead and swatch it. <gasps> oh dear God, it's beautiful. <laughs> Oh my God, can you see that? Look at that stripe of gorgeous. Oh my God, the mill of this is so satisfying, you guys. Like, oh God, okay. So I'm gonna take just a little bit here. Let's do it on this side so we can both see it. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this first with my finger just to go over and, you know, kind of make sure that the cream is set down. Oh my God, you guys, can you see how beautiful that is? Is that, oh my God, if that's not coming across on camera, oh my God, if that doesn't come across on camera, I'm gonna jump through this screen and show it to you in person. Oh my God, can you imagine? You're just sitting there drinking coffee and then all of a sudden, bam, like I land on your lap. <laughs> wow, that was really loud. <laughs> I just scared myself. Okay, anyways, back to this highlight, <laughs> you poor people. Like imagine just big old Paige just being like, hi guys, what's up? And you're like, bitch, get back on my screen. I don't, I don't wanna see you and your crazy ass hair. Get out of here. All right, so dare I say that I am shook as the youth would call it <laughs> because I am like actually blown away. Let's go ahead and apply it to this side and maybe, ooh, let's use a brush. <laughs> let's use a brush this time. I love that I was like so excited, so inventive, Paige. Let's use a brush. All right, so we're gonna grab this. This is my Milani little brush. I love using this for a highlight. We're just gonna dip in a little bit here, not too much because this does appear to have a fair amount of pigment to it. We're just gonna concentrate it right up there. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my, it's, guys, it's, actually the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. But looking at this up close on my hand and also on my face, you know, just trying to figure out like what it is that's it's killing me about how beautiful this is. I think it's that it has that same hourglass effect. It has that same like lilt to it where this has like these almost like silver white pearl kind of like multi-dimensional things in it that when you apply it, it looks even more intense and more um, scattered on your skin, on your hand, wherever you're putting it. But more of the story, it's giving me that same kind of scattered multi-dimensional but with the same shade kind of scattered lights effect as the hourglass scattered lights eye um iPods or <laughs> iPods whatever those things are called those little mini eyeshadows but looking at this up close it gives me a very similar vibe to those and again how they kind of scatter the light but for me you guys this is truly like a love at first sight type situation like I'm obsessed with how this looks um I'm gonna run off of camera really quickly I'm gonna stare at myself do my brows and I will stop back on we only have a couple more products to get 
to. Um, so I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna listen to the tractor run around outside for the next 15 minutes and I will be right back. All right, so eyebrows are done and eyelids have been primed with just a little bit of that hourglass concealer. And now we're gonna move in to what I have for eyes, which I know isn't gonna seem that impressive, but I have this little guy right here. It's from Tom Ford. It looks so ridiculous. Like I've sat here and I've been so excited about doing my eyes and it's because I have one single shadow, okay? And lately I'm very into single shadows. Like it's 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 actually pathetic how much I've been obsessed with stuff like this lately. And uh, I, I really wanted to test out this formula. Again, this is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eye Color. I have it in the shade 04 Brut Rose or Brut Rose if you're feeling fancy. And I picked up this color because I absolutely loved the undertone of it, at least from what I could see online. It also seems like it has um, like a smoke undertone. There it is right there. And I just felt like it matched everything else so beautifully. So I'm just gonna take some of it on my finger and like just pat it all over the eyelid. Again, I'm not gonna do like a crazy eye look today. Okay, so maybe I underestimated how light this was. Like I thought it had a little bit more depth to it than that. Um, and it, it's coming across on my eyelids. Like you can barely, barely see this. <laughs> oh my God, I really thought this had like a slightly darker undertone to it. Okay. Um, so this is fun. I should have at least put bronzer through the crease or something. Maybe I can do that in a second. You know what? Actually, maybe I'll just leave it alone. What, what's wrong with having just like a fresh face? Like what's wrong with that? Nothing. Oh my gosh. Or maybe should I put bronzer through the crease so you can actually see what it looks like against another color? <sighs> okay, maybe just a little bit. All right, let's try that. Let's try a little bit of bronzer. Where's that Chantecai at? Come out, come out, Chantecai. All right, so the only profile that I have that's even remotely clean is this Morphe M433. And girl, she is just a ratted, tatted old <laughs> little brush. It's clean, but it's stained, so just keep that in mind. I promise that's not what's actually on there. But I'm just gonna take some of the Chantecai bronzer here. I'm just gonna run a little bit of that like through the crease just to give my eye a little bit of definition so we can actually see that um, Tom Ford color maybe pop a little bit more because I feel like you can actually not see it at all. And that's not just a camera thing. That's like a real life thing. I can't even see it. <laughs> like it's, it's barely there. So I just want to take a little bit of this and run it through. And then I'm also going to go ahead and do it to this side as well. I mean, while I'm here, I might as, I might as well do it to both. All right. So now that I've added just a little bit of that, we can go back over top of it with a little bit more of this Tom Ford. Oh yeah, that already is making a huge difference. Okay, now the consistency of this is really different for me because I feel like whenever I go in with a potted single shadow like this, I'm not used to it having almost like a sticky feeling or like something that's more tacky about it. And this one definitely does. Like for me, based on the consistency, I don't know that I would call this a shade by itself. Like it reminds me more of um, almost like a primer or like an eyeshadow base, something that I would use to adhere something else to my lid. And that's not meant to be a slam toward the product or anything. It's just kind of throwing me off that the consistency of this is what it is. Um, as far as the color goes, it is pretty. I think that it would look better if it was on something deeper, again, just so you could have that contrast. Really quickly, I actually want to take some of this Chantecai eye color here, and I'm going to pop that over top of it just to give it a little bit more dimension. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Okay. Yeah, it's very, this, this eyeshadow from Chantecai, man, Wow. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna go in and do a couple of other steps. I don't have all of them, obviously from Bergdorf. I'm gonna go in first and brighten up my under eyes here with just a little bit of this powder. This is from Anna Sui, and one of you corrected me in the comments and told me that I've mispronounced it so many times, you're like, Paige, I just really think you should know how to say it and thank you for that because yeah, I really should. So thank you for letting me know that and I think that is how you said to say it, right? Anna Sui. Anna Sui? An Anna Sui. All one word? Oh man, <laughs> now I forgot. I know that the last the last part of it was suey. I know that, at least I think I know that. If I'm wrong again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to tell me the, the first time. Um, but in, anyways, nonetheless, I'm gonna brighten up my under eyes with this little fella. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and set the face. And for that, I'm gonna grab, I think first up, the um, Honest Beauty Hydration Mist, which I'm still testing out. And for those of you that missed it, I just did a full face of Honest Beauty testing out everything in the brand and I will link that up above for you. And then I'm also gonna grab a little bit of my Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray. Now my lips are so crusty and so busty. Like, look at that butthole line, no thank you. Ugh, God, I don't even care that there's nothing else on them. 
I just don't want to look at that. Ew. <laughs> Not cute. So next up, the last thing we have from Bergdorf's is this mascara. This is the YSL The Shock Mascara. Now, this mascara I did test out like maybe two or three-ish years ago. It's been a long time, but I wanted to test this one out again because my taste in mascara has changed so much in the last couple of years. So I'm just going to go ahead and build up a couple of coats of this. And all right, you guys, that is the full face all complete. We're going to go ahead and get into details, the mascara, all of that here in just one second. But first, I want to mention what I I am wearing on my lips because I know I'm going to get questions and this combo is actually really beautiful. So first up, I went in with this little lip liner. It's an anti-feathering one from L'Oreal. It's part of their Age Perfect line. And this is in the shade 80 Rich Cranberry. And I absolutely love this thing. I've worn it so many times with lighter colors, brighter colors, darker colors, just a ton of different options. I feel like it's a really versatile dark purple. And uh, today is no exception because today, out of all things I could have paired it with, I went in with a little bit of my Honest Beauty Tinted Lip Balm. And this is in the shade Fruit Punch, so it's more of like a brighter kind of pink type shade. But when I mixed the two together, it created just this beautiful, super hydrated like look to my lips. But it's not overly shiny, it's not overly glossy, it feels really comfortable. And the color it created is actually really beautiful. But let's go ahead now at this point, let's go ahead and throw up the up close so we can both kind of talk about what's going on, skin, products, all that good stuff. So let's start off with the most recent thing I was talking about, which is the mascara. Now, I went in, and I like to think that I built that up. I really gave it its time. I think I went in with maybe three-ish coats on the upper lashes, and guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's still not my favorite mascara. I think with this mascara, it actually would be a really nice candidate to use with a primer, whether it's like the Milani Lash Primer or if you have a different one that you really enjoy, because the consistency of it does want to build, and it has like a little bit of thickness to it, but it's not thick enough to really like get me there and get me that volume. Then on to the rest of my face, the only thing that I don't love about the complexion aspect of it is the, I think it's the foundation, and I'm not sure if it's the foundation and the setting powder combo that I tried, or if it's just one or the other, so I'll definitely have to play around with those on their own, but I'm noticing that for the, um, for the foundation, like the way that it looks on my skin, it almost looks heavy or like more dense, cakey type situation, and I'm not loving that, but again, it could be a mixture of the Chantikai setting powder and the um, Luminous, the compact that I use from La Mer. It could be something like that. I'm, I'm honestly, obviously not sure at this point. I have to test them both out. But those two like complexion products aside, I really like the other stuff that I tested out. The bronzer and the blush are beautiful. Both of the options for highlight that I played with, the stick and the um, the little Chantikai eyeshadow, those were both stunning as well. Um, I, I do think I'm still a little bit on the fence with that particular shade of the Tom Ford eye cream. And again, I'll test it out maybe over something else and, and see if I like it more. But overall, I think if I had to rate everything, I would say this went very well. And I want to hear from you guys down below. Do you like these kinds of videos where maybe I explore um, like random, you know, stores or like different types of things, just different makeup, even if it's not new makeup, just stuff you guys haven't seen me play with before, whether it's luxury or drugstore, anything in between. Is that something that you're into? For me, this is kind of uncharted territory because for so long, I know that I stuck to like a, this is the type of video that we do. And in the last few months, I've really tried to like branch out and try different things and experiments a little bit. And if you guys like that, obviously I'm more than happy to keep doing it. Um, so leave me your guys's, you know, feedback and whatnot down in the comments. If you guys would like to even see that full face of Chantikai, let me know and I'll kind of start being on the lookout for maybe sales and other things that I can pick up. And uh, we can, we can make, you know, videos like that happen too. I'm just, I feel like right now at like in the makeup realm, I'm so into um, just like new ideas and just all, like freshness, just fresh, whatever. I don't even care if it's, if it's the type of video that I would normally do. Just that's that's really what I'm gravitating towards. And if you are one of those people that's watching and uh, you don't normally comment, I totally understand that. But just keep in mind that that is open to you too. You know, even if you're not a normal commenter and you're someone that is new to the comment section, please feel free to stop down there. Let me know your interests because, you know, I, I won't know what all 18, 19,000 of you guys want to see unless you tell me. So let me know down below um, your thoughts and opinions. And if you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, those are both linked down below. I will also link all of the makeup that I use today down below. It probably won't be for from Bergdorf's because most of it is sold out on their site, but I will link everything that I can for you in the description box. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that as well before you leave. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up around 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. You guys, I think that is everything. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope that you guys all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! 
Okay, I'm irritating myself. I need to get out of here. Look at all these reflections. I feel like I'm in a fun house. Okay. To be without you. Stuff was literally disappearing from the site left and right. And listen, listen to me, I'm such a rhymer. Disappearing from the site left and right. Gotta dance and dance and flip that hair and dance and dance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gonna need to see the chiropractor. <laughs> okay, also that's a horrible brush because it's absolutely filthy, okay? Let's not get crazy, Pudge. You're getting this far. Let's not go crazy. 